I welcome you to the class. Uh, since we have joined this class after our examinations and in the previous week we could not conduct the exam, we could not conduct the class. Now, uh, today what we are going to do, we'll solve few problems from our book. But before I introduce you to the problems, I need to make you understand, I need to revise a very important concept that we discussed last time. Last time we were discussing about a very, very important theorem of the uh, what we call as the addition properties. We are discussing about the properties of angu angular velocity and a very important property of angular velocity we discussed last time was what we call as the, uh, we discussed the addition property of the angular velocity. We discussed the addition property of angular addition property of angular velocity. Okay, So in the addition property of angular velocity we discussed that that as far as the angular velocity is concerned, the angular velocity of a body, the angular velocity of a body uh, with respect to angular velocity of a body with respect to the ground frame of reference. That is, I mean to say, if we have uh, if we have rigid body, which we are representing by beta, uh, I mean to say, if we have angular velocity of beta, or uh, what we had discussed last time, let me write it in that way angular velocity of a with respect to ground is equal to angular velocity of a with respect to with respect to b plus angular velocity of b angular velocity of b with respect to the ground this was the addition property of the angular velocity which we are discussing uh, which we were discussing the last time and in the same way we also had an expression for the angular acceleration so let's use the properties let's use this addition property of the angular velocity and we also make use of the uh, what we call as the, the what we have the expression for the angular acceleration to find out to, to solve few problems okay as far as the problem today is concerned, the problem which we are going to solve today is about determination of the angular velocity and the angular acceleration. Okay, So as far as the angular velocity and angular acceleration is concerned, uh, the expression that we have, that we have derived last time for the angular velocity and the angular velocity, uh, angular velocity and acceleration, we need to uh, you will need to recall those expressions to find out there to solve these problems. Okay, so the first and foremost problem that I will be taking up today is the problem 20.1. Okay, so as far as the property, uh, uh, this, uh, this, pro uh, this uh, problem 20.1 uh, is concerned, this problem will be solving with the help of these pro with, with the help of the concepts which we have already discussed. Let's take this problem 20.1. What does it state? It states that disk shown in figure 20.7 spins spins with its axle uh, with a constant angular uh, velocity omega s equal to 3 radians per second. Though it's it's talking about and it is sh saying showing here omega s is equal to 3 radians per second and this is the angular velocity of this disk okay so we have the disk so we'll be representing this disk let's present this disk by capital D we represent this disk by capital D so this disk is rotating this disk is rotating okay and its angular velocity is 3 radians per second angular velocity of the disk is 3 radian per second and if you look the uh, the, the, the sense of rotation the sense of rotation is anti-clockwise okay so very careful and very important is that it is saying that angular velocity of the disk is 3 radians per second and this angular velocity of the disk and while the horizontal platform on which the disk is mounted rotates about the vertical axis at a constant rate of omega p equal to 1 radian per second okay look what the question is so we are having the disk this disk is rotating that is this disk is rotating and this is the, the sense of its rotation it's rotating in the anti-clockwise direction and it's 
angular velocity is 3 radians per second okay now as far as the uh, the platform is concerned we are having a platform that is this this is our platform we will represent this platform by p okay this platform is also rotating and you see the angular velocity of the platform is 1 radian per second okay it means this platform is also rotating so we are having platform rotating okay we are having the disk is rotating so the disk is rotating the platform is rotating so it says uh, determine the angular acceleration of the disk and the, determine the angular acceleration of the disk and the velocity and acceleration of point a on the disk when it's in the position shown so the question is we have to find the angular acceleration of the disk we should we have to find what is the value of for this disk what is the value of its alpha what is the angular acceleration of the disk number one and we have to find the velocity of point a we have to find velocity of point a and we have to find the acceleration of point a we have to find the velocity of point a and acceleration of point a so let's talk about the frames of reference the frames of reference we have look at the problem identify the frames of references identify whose motion we have to uh, whose motion we have to describe that is whose angular velocity we have to find whose velocity linear velocity we have to find whose which is the body whose angular whose linear acceleration we have to calculate first identify that body number two is um, observe see look at that look at the parameters that are given to us okay the, the parameters that are given to us are also very very important we have to first and foremost will be the identification of the frames of reference that's very important look let me tell you what i mean by identification of the frames of reference i mean to say that first of all it says that the disk is rotating okay so we are having a disk is here and this disk is rotating with an angular velocity of how much the disk is rotating uh, with an angular velocity of 3 radians per second and you know that this is we are given angular velocity of the disk and this is with respect to the platform okay this is the angular velocity of the disk with respect to the platform that is equal that is equal to 3 radians per second and if you look uh, 3 radians per second if you curl your finger in the direction of this uh, arrow uh, the thumb will come along y axis it has itself uh, you know, uh, represented to us the x, y, and z coordinates. So it will be 3j cap positive. Angular velocity of the disk with respect to the platform is 3j cap, number one. Number two is it talks about the angular velocity of what? Angular velocity of the platform. So the information about the platform is given to us that is angular velocity of the platform with respect to the ground is equal to angular velocity of the platform with respect to the ground is one radian per second and if you curl your fingers in the direction of this arrow the thumb will go in the downward direction that is along minus uh, k cap so it will be minus uh, the, the magnitude is one radian per second that is minus uh, one and it's along k cap okay this is angular velocity of the platform with respect to the ground this is important so what we are given we are given angular velocity of the disk with respect to the platform okay so you should actually take the sign conventions in most of the books what is there in most of the books it's very clearly uh, you know uh, uh, it's very clearly written that a disc is rotating with an angular velocity of three radians per second with respect to the platform okay but here this is a little bit of information is hidden so that the student himself tries to understand it's with respect to what okay since we are asked to find the excel angular acceleration of the disc since we are asked to calculate the angular acceleration of the disk okay it says that the angular velocity of the disk is constant if you look here it has a constant angular velocity if the disk has constant angular velocity then its angular acceleration should be equal to zero okay but it is the constant angular velocity of the disk with respect to the platform not with respect to the ground which we have to calculate okay so i'm repeating we are given the angular velocity of the disk with respect to the platform is 3j cap and we are given angular velocity of the platform with respect to the uh, with respect to the platform with respect to the ground is minus k cap so what we have to calculate we have to calculate angular acceleration of the disk that is we have to calculate angular acceleration of the disk with respect to the ground okay angular acceleration of the disk we have to calculate angular acceleration of the disk 
with respect to ground we have to calculate it okay this is parameter one we have to calculate acceleration of point a with respect to the ground and we have to calculate the velocity of point a with respect to the ground okay see how i will perform, how i will do this question how i will solve this question in order to solve this question okay uh, let me ask my students how will you solve this problem let me take the answers from the students in order to okay i have uh, taken the answers from the question students it's fine now what i will do first of all i will use the addition property of the angular velocity okay i will talk about i will first use so my solution of my procedure of solving this question will be using the addition property of the angular velocity okay the addition property of angular velocity says the angular velocity addition property of angular velocity says angular velocity since disk is under observation we have to uh, understand we have to calculate the motion of this disk with respect to the ground platform ground is one frame of reference platform is second frame of reference and the motion we are observing is the motion of this uh, is the motion of this uh, disk so we'll write addition property says angular velocity of the disk with respect to the ground is equal to angular velocity of the disk with respect to the platform plus angular velocity of platform with respect to the ground that's it okay this is the addition property that's equal angular velocity of disk with respect to ground becomes equal to angular velocity of disk with respect to platform that is equal to how much 3j cap so i will write that as that is 3j cap then i have angular velocity of platform with respect to ground that's equal to how much minus k cap so i will write this as minus k cap this is very important and i will call this as equation 1 so this is this is the angular velocity of the disk with respect to what this is the angular velocity of the disk with respect to the observer on the ground now as i go ahead i will write it in this way as we go ahead let us do it more so once we do it the step number two will be since we have to first calculate the angular acceleration of disk with respect to ground so in order to calculate the angular acceleration of disk with respect to the ground i will write it angular acceleration of disk see how will i will write it this is the representation problem okay the rest of the problems ought to be solved in this way the expression for angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground that's what i have to calculate is equal to what okay it is equal to the derivative of derivative of angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground its derivative okay its differentiation with respect to the ground frame of reference this is how we have last time uh, you know they de defined this angular velocity angular acceleration okay so we write angular acceleration of disk with respect to ground is equal to the derivative of angular acceleration angular velocity of the disk with respect to the ground okay now here that is equal to that is equal to using the derivative property of the angular velocity we can write that as that is equal to the angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground its derivative since we have to take the derivative with respect to the ground frame of reference okay angular velocity of the disk derivative of angular velocity of the disk with respect to the ground frame of reference and its derivative with respect to the ground frame of reference that's equal to angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground okay its derivative with respect to the platform frame of reference okay plus plus what is the next expression angular velocity of the platform with respect to the ground its cross product with the angular velocity of the disk with respect to the ground this is the expression for it. i will recall it okay now so what we will do now let's use these expressions as we are using this expression what we will obtain we will obtain first and foremost angular velocity of angular velocity of disk with the derivative of angular velocity of the disk with respect to the ground 
angular velocity of the disk with res the derivative of angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground how much is the angular velocity of disk with respect to the ground the angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground is 3j minus k cap okay and we have to take its we have to differentiate it we have to differentiate it with respect to what we have to differentiate it with respect to the platform okay now look at the platform you once an observer is on the platform angular velocity of the disk with re, with respect to the ground is 3j minus k cap so 3 is constant j cap is constant k cap is constant therefore its derivative will be equal zero therefore angular velocity of disk with respect to the ground and its derivative with respect to the platform will be equal zero okay you can also take it like this angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground so angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground is how much one radian per second okay we have to take its derivative with respect to the platform so when we have an observer on the platform itself the observer on the platform will tell us that the platform is at rest so its rate of change of angular velocity will be equal will be equal to zero okay so plus angular velocity of platform with respect to the ground we have angular velocity of platform with respect to ground is minus k cap okay it's minus k cap cross product with angular velocity of disk cross product with angular velocity of disk with respect to the ground angular velocity of disk with respect to ground is how much it is 3j minus k cap 3j minus k cap that becomes equal to so we have 3 we have k cross j this is your i cap this is your j cap this is your k cap now we have k cross j if you look at k cross j that's equal to minus i minus minus will become plus so it will be 3i cap then we have k cross k k cross k is equal to how much k cross k is equal to zero therefore the angular velocity of disk with respect to ground will become 3i and we know the unit of angular acceleration is radian per second square so the value of angular acceleration will be 3i let's check the answer and see what the book has given if you look at the book the value of the angular acceleration it is here the value of the angular acceleration as far as the book is concerned uh, it is i think it is here it is here it says that the, here it is the value of the angular acceleration is it is here as the book has calculated it by a different procedure it is here it's equal 3i it's equal 3i radian Per second square it is here okay so are you getting me so we have also got it 3i radian per second square this is the one way of doing it okay so in this part we have only we could only find the angular acceleration of disk with respect to ground now we have to find the linear acceleration and the linear velocity which we will be doing in the next class but i want my students to repeat it first okay otherwise it will become laborious for us to uh, go ahead okay thank you very much